This video shows how different robots can use the cloud to share knowledge, learn from each other, and work together. In this demonstration, four different robots work in an experimental setup with two hospital rooms. Ari is an example of a mobile sensing platform. Think of it as a low-cost indoor version of a Google Street View car. Amigo is an advanced humanoid with a rich set of sensors and two robot arms. Pico is an example of a very simple humanoid without arms. It only has a tray to transport things. Para is a fixed robotic manipulator mounted on a table. All four robots have microphones to record voice commands from humans. And all four are connected to the RoboEarth cloud using wireless or tethered connections. This allows them to store and share knowledge, such as maps of a room or the size, weight, and location of an object. Offload computationally expensive tasks such as understanding voice commands or processing camera images and collaborate to achieve a common task. In this first task, RoboEarth decides to use idle robots to map the hospital. RoboEarth automatically decides on an optimal task assignment. The assigned robots and RoboEarth communicate to create a detailed task execution plan tailored to the hardware capabilities on the fly. Robots map autonomously but automatically detect objects already known to RoboEarth, such as beds and cabinets. This improves their own map and future object detections by themselves, as well as those of any other robot connected to RoboEarth. In addition, robots create and upload three map types to RoboEarth. A 3D Octomap, a VSLAM map based on 2D image features, and a semantic map including detected objects. In the second task, the patient in room number one presses the nurse button and RoboEarth deploys Amigo to see the patient who asks the robot, please bring me some juice. Amigo uses RoboEarth to parse the meaning of the command, download a generic task description and create a tailored detailed task execution plan. In addition, RoboEarth automatically translates the map just built by Ari to fit Amigo's different sensing capabilities. RoboEarth also helps the robot to dynamically extend the execution plan with an optimized search strategy for a juice container. Using statistical knowledge about typical inter-object spatial relationships extracted from more than 1,000 scenes stored in the RoboEarth database. In this third task, a patient asks a robot for some chips. Since Ari and Amigo are busy performing other tasks, RoboEarth decides on a task assignment which combines two robots to achieve the single task of searching chips. With the help of RoboEarth, Pico can use the map previously built by Amigo and moves towards the cabinet which has the chips. Using RoboEarth as a common medium, the para robot arm picks up the chips can and places it on top of Pico's tray to be delivered to the patient. Overall, these three task examples show how robots can use RoboEarth to greatly speed up and expand their learning capabilities by accumulating knowledge over time, both from their own experience from that of other different robots, access and use the vast computational infrastructure available on the web for computationally heavy tasks including planning, probabilistic inference, and mapping among many others, and use RoboEarth to collaborate to achieve a common task.